Hey, welcome back. I'm Mark Chase and this is Chase Your Taste. Hey, before we get started, push that little subscribe button down there at the bottom. That little bell lets you know when I post these videos. Today we're going to make some mini pumpkin cheesecakes. These are great desserts for the holidays. So what do you say we get to cooking? For our mini pumpkin cheesecakes, we are going to need some pumpkin, two packages of cream cheese, two large eggs, some pumpkin pie spice, unsalted butter, upside down, some graham crackers, cinnamon, whipping cream, sugar, and some vanilla. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is ground up our graham crackers. Now for this recipe, you only need about a cup and a half of graham crackers, but I'm gonna do a little bit more for uh, other stuff that I'm gonna be doing. So we're gonna take our graham crackers, put them in a chopper. Now you can do this with a rolling pin in a, some baggies or something like that, but we're gonna do this the easy way. So I just cut the tops off of these and then we're just going to put these inside here. Get these, make some. Alright. Then we'll put our top on here. We'll get this, this part done. A little, a little bit more. a bag of package of graham crackers in here and we'll get them all beat up all right oh, I'm gonna put the lid on it first It's getting there. There we go. All right, our graham cracker crumbs. All right, so here's our graham cracker crumb. And we'll just take this and put this in a bag so that we can use it as we need it. Like I said, I made a little bit more because I'm going to be making some more of these. So, All right, so now we're going to make our graham cracker crust. So to our graham cracker crust, we've got our bowl. We're going to put one cup of our graham cracker in the bowl. Three tablespoons of sugar. We're going to mix that up, and then to this, we're going to add four tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. And we're going to get this combined. It's going to kind of look like wet sand once we get this done. And this is going to be the bottom crust to our pumpkin cheesecake. Now that looks like we're at the beach. Got that wet sand. Maybe we can make a sand castle. You never know. A graham cracker sand castle. Ooh, that sounds good. Then we can eat it later. 
Okay, so we've got those done. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in our uh, muffin tins. And we're going to bake these off for about five minutes in a 350 degree oven. So let's put our crust in our tins. Now we want to make sure we get enough in each tin. So you don't just like that. And then what we'll do, once we get these filled, is we'll tap these down till they're firm. And you want about the same amount in each one, so they cook evenly. Alright, let's put a little bit in this one right here. Alright, tap these down. I'm just simply using this from my meat grinder. I'm just going to put these in here. I'm just going to tap that down. So we have a nice solid bottom. See how that is? Now you can use whatever you want to tap these down. You can even use the bottom of a bottom of one of your measuring cups that'll work just just as good so but I'm gonna use this here get those tapped down so we have a nice little crust bottom crust got a little bit much in there thought he could get away with that didn't he no not on my watch he's not nope there we go all right then we'll get that down in there tap that down get that nice solid bottom these are going to be delicious now this is good for the holidays i know the company parties are coming up and stuff like that doing some potlucks All right, so we got all those tapped down, so we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to bake these off at um, about uh, uh, 350 for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm sorry, five minutes. All right, so now we're going to make our uh, pumpkin filling. So to our mixing bowl, we're going to add the two eight-ounce packages of cream cheese and we're going to add our uh, pumpkin spy or our pumpkin puree and this is three quarters cup pumpkin puree and we're going to mix these together now you can use this you can do this by hand or you can use a mixing bowl <clears throat> I'm using my stand-up mixer here and put the paddle on here And then we're just going to mix it until everything is combined. Okay, so we're going to scrape the sides real quick. Make sure we get everything incorporated real good. Smells good already with that pumpkin puree in there. See, we got stuff on the bottom still. All right, get that spatula cleaned off. So to this, we're going to add our uh, vanilla, which we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon. 
spoon of the milk. And a half a cup of sugar. We'll lift this up to get this sugar in here. Half a cup of sugar, just a little bit more. Half a cup of sugar. And one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. All right, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. All right, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. That's pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna lower this down, get this creamed up. Okay, what we're gonna do is scrape this side again. Up here off the top here. There we go. There we go. All right. Just mix this up just a little bit longer. And then to this, we're going to add our two eggs. We're going to add one egg at a time. Now, I always put my egg in a separate bowl in case you get some uh, eggshell in there. It's always easier to dig it out of there than it is to get egg it out of there. Looks good. So now we're ready to put this in our muffin tins. All right. Get all that off of there. All right. Make sure we've got everything out of the bottom there. Now we're ready to put these in our muffin tins. All right, so now we're gonna fill our muffin tin with our cheesecake filling. And it's okay to fill this up to the, almost to the top. Come on, get off here. Because these are not, aren't gonna expand very much. And then they'll kind of fall back down a little bit after the cook. But we'll make it about the same amount in every one so that they uh, cook evenly. They smell delicious. If y'all give this a try, which if you would, leave me a comment on whether you like them or not. Um, let me know. If you have any other ideas for maybe for me to try, 
be glad to try some of your recipes. I'll mention your name on them. Like I said before, this is good to take to uh, like potlucks or stuff like that at work, churches, stuff like that. All right, so there's our, we're going to pop these in the oven for about 16, 20 minutes at 350. So our topping for our mini pumpkin cheesecakes, I'm going to make some whipped cream. Now you don't have to make the whipped cream, you can buy it. But I'm going to show you how to make some whipped cream. It's pretty simple. So we're going to use some whipping cream. We're going to put, oh, about a cup or two in our mixer, stand mixer here, of whipping cream. We're going to use our wire attachment. Put that down there. We're going to start it on low. This will take a few minutes. And you can see it's already starting to bubble up. We're just trying to get air into that and it's going to thicken it up. And then we'll add some uh, powdered sugar to it. And we're going to start off with a quarter cup of powdered sugar just to uh, Sweeten it up a little bit and a little bit of uh, vanilla uh, extract so it's starting to bubble up. So we're going to add our uh, whipped cream, or I'm sorry, our powdered sugar to it. We're going to add about a quarter cup of powdered sugar. And then we'll taste it once we get it done and see if we're going to need any more. And then we'll add just a splash of vanilla to this. Turn this up a little more. So it's been about, oh, two, three minutes, and as you can tell, it's starting to thicken up. We're going to make this to uh, about the consistent of what you'd see in the store. And then uh, we'll use this for the topping on our cheesecakes. Stop this and have, let you take a look. And as you see, so it's starting to uh, peak up a little bit. So we're going to do this a little bit longer. We want it a little bit thicker. That looks about good right there. Oh, yeah. And then we'll pipe this on top of our cheesecakes. All right, let's pull our cheesecakes out. Oh, they look delicious. Oh, look at that. Nice golden brown on the top. See, I told you they weren't going to uh, rise very much. So we're going to set these over here, let them cool. And when they cool, we'll be right back. Here is our mini pumpkin cheesecakes. They look good. So now we're just going to let these cool. And then we'll uh, put some whipped cream topping on it. And these will be ready. Alright, so on our pumpkin mini cheesecakes here. This is what they look like. So we're going to go ahead and take one off. Let's set it down on our plate here. I'll do a couple of them here. Then I'll show you how I'm going to top them off with the whipped cream that I made. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a baggie. 
I don't have piping bags. I use baggies. And take some, take a bag and take some of this whipped cream that we made. And what I like to do is I'll take a cup, place this down in a cup like this, fold it over. A little pocket there. And just scoop whatever I'm going to be pipe trying to pipe down in there. All right, that should be plenty for what we're going to be doing here. Then you take it, kind of shake it out a little bit, close it off, suck the air out of it, close it off. Then we're just going to cut the bottom off of it. Where's my scissors? There they are. So we're going to just take, cut a little hole in the bottom of it, just like that. Now we're just going to take our filling, just kind of squeeze a little bit of filling on the top of that, just like that. Just like that. And there is your mini pumpkin cheesecakes. So why don't we give it a try. Alright, why do you say we try one of these uh, mini pumpkin cheesecakes right here. They look really cute. That's good. Um, almost tastes like an apple pie or a pumpkin pie. It's really creamy. It's not overdone. Mm. That whipped cream's really good. Like I said, these are good for parties and stuff. Potlucks will work. So, uh, hey, give this a try. Leave a comment down there in the comment section. Let me know what you think about them. And, uh, hey, don't forget to chase your taste.